Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of I Am Rock by Shakira. This perfume released this year, 2017, is the seventh addition to the Rock lineup, and I just caught my phone. That was good skills there. Let's hope it's okay. Um, almost dropped that for the second time, and that wouldn't have been good. Anyway, so the box looks like this this time, and like I said, this is the seventh edition. Um, but not the final edition, because we'll get to that in a little bit. But this follows last year's uh, Deluxe Edition Summer Rocks and Pop Rock, which the year before that was Love Rock, and then the original Rock came out before that. So the box looks like this this time, and it's kind of got this pink and red snake skin with a guitar in the middle. It says, I Am Rock by Shakira. It got this cute little heart right here. Um, fun little that. The top's gold, and you've got the traditional Shakira emblem up there. And then the sides are gold. On the back, we have a completely new advertisement for Shakira, which I love because the last couple rocks have it all had that same idea, like that same rock picture, but they changed it just a little bit. This time it's a completely new ad, new pose, new everything. The bottle looks like this this time, and it says, I am rock by Shakira down here, and the heart's carried over, which is the first time they've done that, and like they haven't done that before. Same lid from the previous rocks that are over um, 30 milliliters. 30 milliliters don't have this cap, um, but the 50 milliliters and this size, the uh, 75, 80 mil, sorry, have that same cap. Sprayer this time is red, and I really love this red. Um, and it seems like that's kind of her theme because Kiss was a red fragrance as well. So this, like I said, is going to be followed up. There is two more rocks coming out. Let me pull that up for you guys. So there is two more rocks coming out with my phone. There we go. Uh, Rock the Party. And I'm not sure the official names for these. So we just know that it's the Rock the Party collection. Like she did um, earlier with the... Um, last year how she did the Summer Rocks. This year we've got the... Rock the Parties, which I'm interested to see how those two are. Um, this one, though, so far is my favorite rock, and mostly because of the bottom, but also because this fragrance completely transforms from its first spray to its dry down. They're two completely different fragrances um, as it transforms. So, top notes of this fragrance are bergamot, lemon, green apple, and black pepper. Middle notes, <coughs> excuse me, Fragapani, Freesia, Jasmine Sandback, and Heliotrope with base notes of Patchouli, Gia Wood, Vanilla, and Sandalwood Accord. So, this fragrance, like I said, unlike anything else, and truly is a unique fragrance in the way that it transforms. So when you first spray it, you definitely get those citruses. The bergamot, the lemon are definitely there. Um, the green apple kind of adds a sweetness to it. But you're also getting the black pepper, and it is very masculine opening, which the other rocks were as well, so it doesn't really surprise me. And you almost get this cologne aspect to it, and then it starts to dry down. And then as it starts to dry down, I fall in love with it even more. So, the Fragapani, the Freesia, Jasmine Zambac, Heliotrobe. You get those... <coughs> Excuse me. I have a really bad cough, and I'm, like, dying. But anyway, um... The heliotrope is not as pronounced as I would like it to be. It's there, but it's not, like, as standout as I would like it to be. I love heliotrope. One of my favorite notes in a fragrance. And I just wish it was a little bit more out there. You do get the fragapani, you get the freesia, and you get the jasmine sandback. But they kind of create this traditional floral heart. Um, which those three fragrances, those three notes are used a lot together. So it doesn't surprise me that it's that traditional heart. Um... But the heliotrope definitely does give it a little bit of a difference, if that makes sense. Like, it adds a difference to the middle, but that middle is still very generic floral. When it dries down, though, you get a little bit of the patchouli, but you're really getting the vanilla and the sandalwood. And this fragrance reminds me a lot of uh, Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. And, um, let's see if I can do it. Right there is Wishmaker by... 
um, little mix. And in a way, it also kind of reminds me of the Bebel of Juicy Sucre, but this isn't as close as those two are. I would definitely say that if you have those fragrances, it's a safe bet to get this one because you will like it. Um, but they're not the same. They definitely have a very different edge to them. And I feel like the black pepper and the green apple that are in the top definitely carry the weight to the base and give it that little bit of a difference that's not there in the other fragrances, if that makes sense. Um, definitely my favorite one, and it lasts so long. It is an Eau de Toilette, which all of Shakira's fragrances are, um, but I'm obsessed with this. It lasted a good eight hours on my skin, eight to nine hours on my skin at work, um, and I ca catch myself continuing to smell myself because I love Gold Rush. I've used a lot of Gold Rush since I bought it, um, and it's just amazing. It's one of those fragrances that as you wear it, it continues to change, and that's what I love about this. It continues to change, and everybody's body chemistry is going to make this fragrance a little bit different, and this is not, I cannot compare this to anything in Shakira's lineup. This is definitely the standout rock, in my opinion, just because it is amazingly built, and this fragrance transforms like some of the upper of $100 fragrances do. Sometimes I get fragrances that I've purchased that are near that $100 range or even over $100 that really don't transform as much as this does. Like, that top is drastically different from the base. And it really, really shows. When I first got it, I definitely was afraid because of black pepper, green apple, bergamot. Those are all very cologne traditional notes. And I was like, I am going to hate this fragrance. I'm just going to have it to complete the Shakira lineup. Now it's not complete because of rock the parties but anyway um but it just i was not expecting to like it and this completely came out of left field and i'm so surprised by it i will say the one thing that bothered me about this and it's not has nothing to do with the fragrance has nothing to do with shakira has nothing to do with that it literally has to do with the fact that i purchased this and it took so damn long to get here like it should have been here a long ass time ago and it took forever to get here. I'm glad it finally came. Unfortunately, some other people haven't who ordered this from the same person I ordered mine from haven't been able to get theirs yet. Um, and it's just, it's a sucky situation because I ordered this off of eBay and so did the other person who um, I'm referring to. Her name's Lizzie. You guys going to go over and watch her channel. It'd be great. Uh, Elizabeth Wonderham here on YouTube. Um, but... It just sucks because, you know, when you're wanting a fragrance and you ordered it, like, she ordered hers well before I ordered mine. She ordered hers probably about 10 days before I ordered mine, and I got mine and she still doesn't have hers. I don't know if the seller just didn't ship hers until the same time you shipped mine or what, but this shit took forever. It took, like, the listing on eBay said that it was going to take, like, it'd be here by the middle of March, and it took until, like, three days ago for me to get this fragrance. And I've been wearing this fragrance every single day for those three days because I love this. It's just an amazing fragrance. And it just, oh, I highly, highly, highly recommend this fragrance. Hands down my favorite Shakira. Outbeats Dance, which was my favorite Shakira before this one. And if you can get your hands on this, go on eBay, go wherever, pick this up because it is an amazing, amazing fragrance. And... It's just really well done. Um, I'm excited to see the Rock the Parties, to see how those are. Also, Dance Under the Rain coming out later this year. I'm excited to see how those ones are. I'm, I have high hopes for Dance Under the Rain just because anything with the word rain in it, when it's spelled rain, like R-A-I-N, um, I get excited for because I love the rain. It's actually currently raining right now, and I, I just love the rain. So I have high expectations for that fragrance. We'll see how that goes. Um, interested to see the Rock the Parties. I'm interested to see if she's going to continue to do this kind of sub-rock category that are only coming out in 30 milliliters, and they're going to be their own lineup. I don't know. That's going to be interesting to see, but who knows? So, there you guys go. There is my review of Rock, or er, I am Rock. Wow. 
It's been a day. Anyway, my review of I Am Rock. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Adas Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.